the abandoned stone works. Actually, what they did there was cut stone. The company moved, leaving this amazing and spooky place abandoned. My daughter and I visited this place a while back, but since it was only the two of us, my daughter was uncomfortable with us exploring the inside. She had with someone else a few days prior, and there are a lot of hidden little nooks and crannies, as well as some obstacles, so she didn't feel comfortable with us taking a chance on getting hurt. Anyway, back to this lovely, creepy little place. Yes, it is creepy, and not so little. What you see in these images are only part of the ground inside that fence. They were outbuildings everywhere. I've been wanting to go back and really take a better look, but I'm smart enough to know that doing that by myself wouldn't be very bright on my part. I fell in love at first sight, however. This is the kind of place where you could do a great horror video without a lot of effort. The stones of the main building, as well as the fence, I'm assuming were all done there on site. Even after all this time, this place is still beautiful. I do have to wonder why the hole was in the ground there. That was definitely odd. It looked to have a built-in stone bench. It was a small pit, not large enough for a person over six feet, if that, to stand up in. The large stone in the middle of the drive was probably placed there to keep someone driving off into it. Would I spend the night in the place? Well, that would depend on who was in there with me, and I'm not talking about ghosts. Yes, I did deliberately block out the name of the place. Sorry about that, guys. I just don't think that one needs to be known by everybody. Don't forget to hit the like button, and please, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.